Welcome back to Football Daily. Today, we're counting down 10 players on the continent who could be set to move to the Premier League. Let's go. 10. Jules Kunde. Heavily linked with a move to Manchester City last summer, Sevilla rejected a quote, magnificent offer for Jules Kunde from the Premier League Giants, according to sporting director Monchi, with the citizens eventually signing Ruben Diaz instead. And while that turned out to be an excellent move, Kunde has also come on a lot this season. The Frenchman has been practically ever present since his 25 million euro move from Bordeaux in 2019. 19, and at 22 has the kind of assuredness usually seen in centre-backs much older than him. Strong in the air, comfortable on the ball and an excellent reader of the game, Kunde has all the attributes to thrive at a European Titan and having won the Europa League and made UEFA's squad of the tournament in 2020, already has pedigree in continental competition. Now touted for a move to Man United, although the club are apparently reluctant to pay Sevilla's £68 million asking price, Kunde would certainly be a good fit in the Red Devils' defence. An adept distributor, his 4.8 passes into the final third per 90 ranks him above all United centre-backs bar Maguire, and he's also comfortable bringing the ball out, as exemplified by his terrific solo goal against Barcelona in the Copa del Rey. Kunde is a star in the making, whether or not he makes it to Old Trafford. 9. Manuel Locatelli a player we've bigged up a lot on Football Daily over the past 12 months, Manuel Locatelli has emerged as a target for Manchester City, but in truth would be a welcome midfield addition to any of the Premier League's top sides. The beating heart of a Sassuolo side which impressed in 2020 but have struggled in recent months, the 23-year-old may feel now is the time to move to a bigger club, and with his contract up in 2023, this summer could be the last time his employers can make a significant profit on him. Signed from Milan for just 12.5 million euros in 2019, Locatelli is now one of Serie A's most complete midfielders and is also a regular for Italy. A big performance at Euro 2020 could see his 40 million euro market value skyrocket. An excellent ball winner, the six caps international makes 4.5 tackles and interceptions per game. For context, that's more than Pierre Emil Hoiberg manages for Spurs and is particularly impressive in a team which dominates possession more than any other side in Italy. The deep line playmaker also averages 8.6 passes into the final third a match, a figure which would rank him fourth in the Prem behind Fernandinho, Jordan Henderson, and Thiago. With sides like United, Chelsea and even Everton still working out their midfields, City shouldn't be the only English side making a play for Locatelli this summer. 8. Rafael Varane the most established name on this list, Rafael Varane has won all there is to win at Real Madrid and is also a world champion with France, having done all of that at just 25. So it's perhaps understandable that the defender would want a new challenge. Plus, with no new contract agreement in place at the Bernabeu and the Spanish club unwilling to let him go for free in 2022, right now it looks like Varane could leave Madrid this summer. And if he does depart the Spanish capital after 10 years, the Premier League looks his most likely destination. A number of big English clubs are in need of centre-backs, with Liverpool and Man United the most strongly linked with the Frenchman's signature. Whether he'd be the best option for them, though, is another matter. If Madrid demand over £60 million for the 28-year-old, it's likely that better value can be found elsewhere in the market, even if he'd be a far more solid partner for Harry Maguire than Bay or Lindelof, for example. What's more, having struggled at times in the absence of Sergio Ramos this term, whether Varane will look as good in a complete new back line is also up for debate. But would you take Varane at that price? Let us know in the comments. 7. Abdullah Sima a rising star in a Slavia Prague side which dumped Leicester out of the Europa League, Abdullah Sima was the Czech outfit's most dangerous player in their 2-0 win at the King Power, scoring their excellent second and involved in every attack. And it wasn't a fluke. The Senegalese forward only joined Slavia last summer shortly after his 19th birthday and was quickly promoted from the club's B team following some excellent displays. Since then, he's hit 15 goals, of which four came in the Europa, plus five assists in 23 appearances, averaging a goal contribution every 84 minutes. A centre forward by trade, Seema has thrived cutting in from the right this term, with his excellent touch, composed finishing and strength in the air, making him an instant hit in Prague. What's more, his 2.6 shots, 1.1 key passes and 1.1 dribbles per 90, all numbers taken from his appearances in Europe, are incredibly promising for a teenager, especially considering he's creating more chances per game than Arsenal's Bukayo Saka. Earmarked as a potential target for Everton, Seymour would certainly give the Toffees' attack an extra edge, with the Merseyside club ranking 12th in the Prem for expected goals this season. 6. Florian Müller while Frankfurt and Stuttgart have made most of the headlines, Freiburg have also been one of the success stories of this season's Bundesliga, with the Black Forest club sitting above Borussia Mönchengladbach at the time of writing and hoping to better their 8th place finish from last term. And a big part of this success has been the performances of goalkeeper Florian Müller, who joined the club on loan from Mainz last summer. Sitting behind a defence that concedes 14.9 shots a game, the second highest figure in the Bully after Schalke, Müller has held opposition attackers at bay with his superb shot stopping, with Freiburg one of a handful of German 
German sides to have conceded fewer goals than they should have according to post-shot expected goals. The metric used to measure the likelihood of a goal occurring based not only on the quality of chance, but also the quality of finish. At 23, he's still quite raw, with his distribution and effectiveness coming off his line, both in need of work. But with his contract at Mainz up in 2022, he could be available for cheap this summer, even if Freiburg end up having first dibs on the stopper. For clubs like Brighton, Everton and Southampton, who have struggled with the goalkeeper position this season, he could be worth a punt. 5. Borna Sosa Recently profiled by us as a potential replacement for Jodhi Alba at Barcelona, Stuttgart wing-back Borna Sosa is one of the most informed players in Europe right now, with seven assists in his last eight appearances, the same number managed by Leroy Sane in the entirety of the season so far. Meanwhile, his total of eight is only beaten by Frankfurt's Filip Kostic among fullbacks and wingbacks in Europe, and it's no fluke. The Croatian also ranks second for Kostic for chance creation, with his 2.5 key passes per 90 beating the likes of Rafa Guerrero and Juan Cuadrado, not to mention more traditional creators like James Madison and Lionel Messi. Also capable of playing in a back four but having shown his best form in a 3-4-3, Sosa thrives in a system which lets him get forward, with Stuttgart ranking fourth for shots and fifth for expected goals in the Bully. And so, if he were to make the switch to England, he would probably see a side like Leeds, Brighton or perhaps even Leicester. However, with Bayern rumoured to be interested, whoever moves for him will have to do so quickly. 4. Brian Hill at just 20 years of age, Brian Hill still has plenty of development to do, but the early signs are very promising. Yet to get a consistent run in the first team at Sevilla, the Spaniard is impressing on loan at Ibar, netting three goals and two assists for a side which, despite faring well on shots and expected goals, are the joint lowest scorers in La Liga this term. In January, Hill became just the second player born after 2000 to net a brace in a La Liga fixture, and he has quickly become the Basque club's chief creator, with no one in the Gunsmith squad matching his 2.1 key passes per 90. He he also completes 2.7 dribbles a match, more than Raheem Sterling and Riyad Mahrez, and he's also become a more active defender, winning possession almost twice a game. Continue on this trajectory and Hill will be one of the most coveted young wingers in Europe, and with mid-table Premier League clubs showcasing their increased spending power in recent windows, Sevilla could be forced into a sale. 3. Tayun Koopmeiners one of the most active all-round midfielders in Europe, it's surely only a matter of time until Tayun Koopmeiners gets his big move. And while he's perhaps not ready for an elite club just yet, he does look capable of holding his own at a mid-table Premier League outfit. The RZ Alkmaar captain is part of an exciting young contingent at the Afas Stadion that includes Maron Bodu, Calvin Stengs and Owen Vindal. But having been a regular for almost four seasons, the 23-year-old is the heart of the Dutch side system, completing over 60 passes a match and almost six long balls to boot, as well as averaging 4.1 tackles and interceptions. A set-piece specialist, Koop Minus has also scored four free kicks since the start of last season, the kind of skill needed at sides like Crystal Palace who struggle to create chances from open play. A huge midfield presence, the six-foot Dutchman would have little trouble with the more physical elements of the Premier League. It just depends who is willing to take a chance on the £20 million rated man. 2. Sven Botman one of the signings of last summer, Sven Botman transferred to Lille from Ajax for just €8 million Euros and has been a revelation in France, helping Le Dog concede just 17 goals after 28 games, with only PSG matching them in this regard. So it's no surprise the big centre-back has been linked with a big move, having seen his market value skyrocket to €40 million. Euros. Nevertheless, that's still a more reasonable price than the aforementioned Varane and Kunde, and with the reports in January suggesting that he was on Liverpool's radar, a switch to the Premier League could be on the cards. Strong in the air, fast and a decent distributor, Botman would be an asset to almost any Prem defence. The likes of United, Arsenal and Chelsea should be keeping watch. 1. Andre Silva only Robert Lewandowski and Cristiano Ronaldo have scored more goals than Andre Silva in Europe's top five leagues this season, while the Portuguese striker has scored seven in his last five appearances for Eintracht Frankfurt, helping the German club sustain a 10-game unbeaten streak which has propelled them into Champions League contention. So naturally, there is much talk of the former Milan man moving back to a bigger club, with Man United the most prominent outfit linked with his signature. The 25-year-old even commented on the rumours himself, jokingly giving himself a €105 million Euro price tag. But given his current form, he's as valuable as anyone right now. His four shots per 90 would rank him top in the Premier League, as would his 3.1 shots in the box, which account for almost a third of Frankfurt's total efforts on goal. As Edinson Cavani has proved, United function much better with a specialist goalscorer in the box. But would he be your number one pick for the position at Old Trafford? Let us know down below. 
So those were 10 European stars destined for the Premier League, but which one do you reckon is most likely to make the switch? Let us know in the comments below. And do you have any shouts yourself? Let us know and we might do a part two. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a like and of course subscribe to Football Daily if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.